Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Detroit food truck owner bans cops from her business, realizes big mistake too late. Cop hatred is still apparently alive and well here in the United States. Every day, I hear several stories where police officers are denigrated, smeared, or turned away simply for doing their jobs and keeping people safe. It defies common sense and logic. A food truck owner in Detroit, Michigan is the latest example of his type of deplorable behavior. She reportedly said she won't serve police officers or other law enforcement officials because she, along with the majority of her customers, do not feel safe around law enforcement agents. It's amazing how some in the black community buy into this Marxist propaganda. The police, for the most part, are not racist and are not hunting down innocent black people. Women like this are spreading dangerous lies against the very people who would come to her rescue most likely if she got in trouble. The left calls for diversity and love for all, except for those they don't like such as police officers. In that case, it's usually some version of a death threat thrown officer's way. And the media applauds, shrugs and moves on to the next lie about Trump. The owner, Rocky Coronado, deleted her Facebook post but wrote that she is well within rights to refuse service to law enforcement agents. The owner of Rocky's Road Brew in Rocky, Colorado said this on Facebook. Yesterday, two people came by in an unmarked, black suburban with tinted windows both with bulletproof vests and badges. I do not serve law enforcement, ICE, Homeland Security, DPD, etc., so I told them I was close to not make a tense situation more so. They then circled back around with a lady, still with bulletproof vest and badge getting out of her vehicle asking why I didn't serve them. Not feeling confrontational, I meekly told her that I don't serve law enforcement. She told me she was W the Humane Society and that we probably have the same political ideas. That's when I was ready to rectify the situation but she quickly became belligerent. She took her phone out and stated taking pictures, wish I would have done the same. The customers already at the truck were harassed by her and photographed despite not having their consent. That's when I refused her service and asked her to leave. She posted or her male passenger posted some pics with their false account of what happened. The posts went viral and I decided to post why I do not serve law enforcement agents. Since then all lives matter, patriots, MAGA, and Christians have been slandering, threatening, and harassing the business via Facebook. These people, their code switching, their hate, their ignorance shows me I'm on the right path. These people are the threat to freedom, equality, and peace in America. As a brown queer person in America, I am well aware that my very being is a threat to America and its lineage of genocide, fragility, and hate. My very existence is my resistance and just like my ancestors, I am resilient. So despite the hate and slander, I am well. I wanted to thank everyone for the emotional labor, these creeps cannot be reasoned with, and support. It's super comforting and I love you all for it. I had planned to take the day off to attend Rise in Flynn, a nationwide day of environmental action, but because of the madness I'll be doing some self-care near home. So, I'll be closed but will keep you posted on when I'll be opened back up. With resistance and love in mind, Rocky Coronado hashtag Black Lives Matter hashtag Refugees Welcome hashtag Shingalamagra hashtag No Mamsgi. You know what, she does have the right to do as she pleases. But officers and the rest of us have the right to not visit her food truck. She has now shut down because she says she has been slandered and threatened. Once again, you have someone full of hate and viciousness playing the victim. It's so predictably typical. From Fox News The truck owner detailed in a separate post that she turned away two officers on Friday who were in an unmarked, black suburban with tinted windows both with bulletproof vests and badges. The officers, according to Coronado, circled back around with a third person after being told the food truck was closed, and asked why they weren't served. Not feeling confrontational, I meekly told her that I don't serve law enforcement, the owner wrote. An officer allegedly said she was with the Michigan Humane Society, and quickly became belligerent. According to Coronado, one officer took photos of her and other customers, and the officer's false account of what happened was posted online. The posts went viral and I decided to post why I do not serve law enforcement agents, the owner wrote. The Michigan Humane Society, which provides animal welfare and sheltering services to the metropolitan Detroit area, doesn't seem to have any comment at this point on all this. I can't say I blame them over this. Detroit Police Chief James Craig told the Detroit News that his officers find the business owner to be uncooperative with the department. Generally speaking, we have good relations in that neighborhood but my officers tell me whenever they've been in that area investigating criminal matters, she's been uncooperative and rude, 
Craig said. Gee, I'm shocked I tell you. Just shocked. I'm sorry, but I have no sympathy for this woman with her bigotry against police officers. She banned them from her business and then realized just how big of a mistake that was on multiple fronts. Actions have consequences. Live with them. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.